On today's episode of Trends on KDM, we jump straight to X, now formerly Twitter. Now, there is this hot trend that has been trending since yesterday about this lady. Okay, now this lady went on a podcast to actually air his dating life, had dating learning outside about her boyfriend and their personal life and some of the things that happens at home. Some people have other ideas or they feel like whatever she said isn't right. Okay, but... Um, okay I, I let me explain the video to you let me explain the video to you so that the girl's name is Gisela and he was on one um, podcast on YouTube talking about the fact that his boyfriend I think the whole idea of what she was talking about is the fact that the boyfriend is sweet the boyfriend is romantic the boyfriend is a nice person the boyfriend I think it was supposed it was supposedly meant to um appreciate a boyfriend but it went wrong because i feel the way she said it made it look uh made the boyfriend look a certain kind of way right but what she was basically trying to say was um, when they go out for a date the boyfriend doesn't allow her to pay even if she wants to pay and the guy always wants to pay for her and the second one was when she was talking about the father sometimes when she goes to the boy's place the boyfriend's place sometimes when she goes to the boyfriend's place and uh they are, I mean, she goes for a sleepover and she wakes up in the morning. They, <laughs> she literally wakes up around 10 a.m. in the morning. And by the time she wakes up, if the living room is not looking tidy, he wakes up and her boyfriend will be sweeping the living room while she is sleeping. And what she said is, it's, like I said, it was supposed to be a form of appreciation to the boyfriend on, on air. And you know how delicate these podcast things are and how delicate it is to air your opinion on, on the media these days because everybody, most people are targeting some of these things to sort of make ridicule of it. And I believe that sometimes people have to be very careful with the things that they go on podcast to say. If, <laughs> if you are not mentally prepared, if you are not psychologically prepared for backlashes and one of these, some of these things, uh, you should stay away from podcasts because Charlie don't go roast you. you bob. Yeah, because some of these things, you have to be very careful with how you present it. Even though you are good intentioned, it might be taken in the wrong way. And right now, uh, the whole issue is most people are talking against her because they feel like he, she sort of uh, made her boyfriend look less. Okay, because it, traditionally, we are not used to boyfriends or men that are, I mean, sweeping the home and everything. So... When she sort of spoke about that, people were like, Charlie, boy, man, like, we boy be that way, they do that thing for you, in woman. So, the issue, Angus, I know, me personally, if you ask me, I feel like some of these things are personal issues. And when it comes to relationship, everybody has a way that they want to relate with their boyfriend or girlfriend. It's a personal decision. It's an individual decision that I feel like sometimes it's not necessary to invite other people's opinion because it's, it's, it's between you and your boyfriend or your girlfriend. Whatever you do personally should be between both of you and it shouldn't be said anywhere to sort of, um, uh, sort of um, fish or farm for validations or um, to impress people that maybe you're having the best relationship because the moment you open it up, now... You are opening it up for the public and people that are not really happy with you and the person's union because, look, people don't like it when people are happy. Yeah, people don't like it when people are having a good relationship. It's some, Not everybody is having a good relationship with their spouse or your boyfriend, but if you are having it, I think you should protect it from some people because they are not probably having it that way. Some people don't even have, they, they, they can't get their boyfriend to lift a finger for them. And the moment you put these things out, it, it becomes, you know, humans are like, we are, we are I mean, in, in, our, in our most primal instincts, human can be very envious. And envy can sort of be concealed in so many ways, like, yeah, like this way, like the way people are roasting and everything. You don't know who is envious and who is actually saying their mind the way they are saying it, you understand? But that one said, I feel like what she said, uh, I'm not defending her, Charlie, but the boy too. She, uh, well, technically, I don't think it's so much of a big deal. I mean, before the girl, if, if the girl comes, goes to a sleepover at the guy's place, personally, if you ask me, Charlie, before the girl came, or when a girl is not around, he was the one sweeping his house. Yeah. 
He was the one sweeping his house. It's not like when you are you are there and then you are sleeping. Pro okay, what if the girl worked throughout the night or she didn't sleep early and he didn't want to disturb her, but at the same time he wanted to tidy up the place, and then he had to sweep. Uh, maybe it's, it was once a, once a while. Maybe he he doesn't even do it regularly. But I think the girl didn't do well. I mean, some of these things should be said in a certain kind of way, because. The moment you put the guy out there like that, then he appears a certain way to his friends and the whole Ghana. You know, Ghanaians, how we can be? We can, we can roast you, son. You know, your mind will bust. Yeah, but technically, if you ask me, most people are doing worse than that in their, in their, in their relationship and they won't come out to say it. Some people go the extra mile when they like people. Like, you know what? <laughs> do you know the, the Yakubu Joy boys they do for them? See, Yakubu, the yeah, boys, yo. Yeah. Boy, see, yeah, Yakubu, Papa, Bozu. Yeah, make nobody lie you. It be, you know, it be for the glam, it be for the media. Most boys, they do Yakubu jobs for indoors. You, you, bab. Yeah, like these people, then they there, they will talk a certain way. You go figure, say, oh, Charlie, this guy be guy. Yeah, so some of these things, I feel, personally, I feel it's, it's not a big deal so much. Um, if the guy is trying to help out with certain things at the home, uh, it's not a big deal. Like, I think that the whole problem came about when the girl was trying to say that the guy doesn't allow her to do anything because they were talking about gender roles and gender roles basically in the traditional sense means that the man being the caregiver, um, caretaker, like the man being the breadwinner of the family and the uh, woman being the caregiver, the one that is um, going to be, the, be more of a passive role and the man is going to go out there and fend and the woman is going to take care of the house and make sure that the house is in order. So when she spoke about the fact that the guy doesn't allow her to pay for things, naturally it meant that the guy is performing his role traditionally as a man. But on the flip side, she's the woman. She's supposed to also perform her, her traditional uh, role, gender role, uh, by cleaning the house and doing all those kind of stuff. So that the moment she said that, the guy goes the long way to actually clean the house and do all these stuff, then it became like, Charlie, the guy is overdoing, you understand? So then, <laughs> Charlie, but me, I, st I still stand by the, the truth that we have to be truthful. I mean, people do worse than that. I mean, if you, are, if you are with your wife or your girlfriend and then things are not in order, and then you feel like, okay, let me do it on my mind. My, sometimes you just even want to do it. It's not like you are doing it to impress the girl or score any uh, romantic points. It's just that maybe you just feel like, Charlie, let me tidy up the place because some people don't like it when they are in an environment that is in a mess. Okay, so they don't want to also appear that they are too, um, they are too, per they are perfectionists. So instead of them to force their girlfriend to do it, they will do it by themselves and then one gets their room cleaned up so that they feel good about the environment. I don't, personally, I don't think it's a big deal, but boys, they overdo. But yeah, so I think we, we have to go to the media and then Charlie check out some messages that has come on the media with regards to that. Let me read this one from um, Sheldon Houseboy. Now, Sheldon Houseboy says, This Gisela girl will soon cry. Charlie, this internet shit, no, no, they forget to. You see, when these rich guys are done with naive girls like you, he would go to the village to get the wife material. You wake up 10 a.m. and you think these guys would take you to the parents? Jokes on you. So, uh, Sheldon is basically saying <laughs> that he feels like the guy is just indulging um, Gisela because maybe the guy has a better plan for himself to get a, a woman that will perform more of a traditional role. So uh, maybe when he, he's ready to marry, he can go to the village or go and find a, a girl that is um, going to be more subservient and then know her role as a woman in the house. Okay. To, okay. Well, to a certain extent, to, yeah, I understand where the backlashes are coming from because now it means the guy is setting some standard for the relationship or if it's graduating to marriage that standard will be there so now the woman will not perform any role because any kind of relationship is give give and take so the man will be giving more of himself and maybe the woman will be more of a passive and they will get to a point if you are not careful resentment will start building in because the man would have created a monster that he will not be able to live with. Well, I mean, that that might be the case. That's okay, I understand. Okay, then let's move to the next uh, ex um, conversation that we have here. And then this one is from Abna Ajiman. Now, Abna says Gisela kind of talks too much and ends up setting her boyfriend up for truths. Like, keep your mouth shut a bit. I get it. 
I get it. It's podcast, but not every day, my man. Okay, so I get it. It's podcast, but not every day, my man, my man. Okay, so he's trying to say that the girl talks too much. Like I said, they, I mean, there are certain things that should be like private issues, like personal issues. But I understand her too, because sometimes when you are, when you are, um, you are light camera action and then the camera is rolling, sometimes you, you forget yourself in the moment that, Charlie, these things, this conversations are going to reach a, a, a larger audience and you let yourself go and say certain things that probably should should be scrutinized well before it goes out there so from a media perspective i feel i understand where the let go happened because sometimes you do forget yourself and then you you set yourself up for trolls like this but probably she didn't know that she's she's setting her boyfriend up for trolls but you know it happened i mean it was it's it's, it's what it is <laughs> Okay, now this one is from House No Good. House No Good says, I did feel for the Obolua, not sure he even has a say in the so-called relationship with Gisela. Her take on matters is evident of the lack of father, father figure in her life. No offense. So, this same Gisela came out to speak about how she hated the father because the father was uh, not a present father. The father was not um, in her life present. Like, the father wasn't really present while she was growing up and she... It became a whole lot of news because she was chastising her father in a very um, unforgiving way. And then um, I think this guy is trying to say that the way she is handling issues in a relationship is something that is, it can be traced to the lack of a father figure in her life. So the guy is in for some level of stress. So, okay. So now we are going to go to, um, uh, you know, we have people that are always going to talk about issues relating to other people and one of them is albert not hyde william that's bongo ideas now bongo ideas also, also added his thoughts to this particular issue and he says the seller's dad abandoned her when she was a kid psychologically women like her, her okay psychologically women like her are broken so they tend to be manipulative and controlling to compensate for their lack of father figure in their lives she carries a burden and the, and the Obolo boyfriend is just her victim. Don't be one. Okay, so peop, peop, they are saying that the guy is an Obolo. Like he's, I mean, he has weight. He's, he's, he's um, yeah, he's Obolo in, in Ghana. He's fat. So um, they are trying to throw her, him by saying that because the guy is Obolo, more or less like these kind of people or me, maybe men that are um, fat are always going to be the sweet and darling boys because some people believe that not all women will be able to um, stay in relationship with guys like that because they might not be physically as attractive as other guys so it means that their options in the dating pool is limited so when they have women they have a special way that they treat them because Charlie uh, if you don't treat her well um, somebody might take her from him so that's basically what people are saying by Obolo. If you go online and you see Obolo and then you see the trends with Gisela, that's basically what people are trying to do. It's, it's a troll upon troll upon troll upon troll. Some of the trolls are very funny. And <laughs> uh, I mean, we know how it turns out. Ghana, when you are on X, it's very fun. It's something you can laugh, some, but pray that your issue no will come there because you regret. If mentally you are not prepared, Charlie, yeah, it go past your you go it go past your head inside, yeah, Charlie. So that's basically what's happening with regards to Gisela and uh, Obolo that's currently trending on the media. And I don't know what you think about this particular issue, but I me, mean, if you ask me, I feel uh, it's not so much of a big deal. I mean, people do worse in their homes. People do more um, to please or sort of cover or compensate for the lack of their partner's um, strength. And I mean, personally, if you ask me, that's that's relationship. That's how it's supposed to go. But not to an extent whereby your girlfriend will come and then make you look a certain kind of way in the eyes of many. I mean, this guy, I don't know how he's feeling wherever he is now, but the things that are going on in the media about him and a girlfriend, I don't know <laughs> if they are not really strong, uh, like their bond is not that strong. I don't know, maybe it might even go a long way to affect their relationship in a certain kind of way. So with that one said, I will end today's edition of Trends on KDM here. The name is Donald and not Trump. I'll see you on the other side. Peace. <laughs>